Welcome to the DPM video cast where Kelly and I give our five cents, that was 10, but five on everything that's going on in our Slack team. And if you're new to uh, the DPM video cast um, and you don't know what our Slack team is all about, well, we've got more than two and a half thousand people in our team where we're talking about everything related to digital project management. Uh, we've got channels for remote working, uh, for agile, for tools random stuff. Uh, so if you want to join the conversation, please go to the digitalprojectmanager.com and sign up. But there are some conversations that caught our eye over the past few weeks that we wanted to talk about. And we want to uh, use this video cast to talk about tools. And I just need to say that this video cast is sponsored by Clarison and they're the leader in enterprise project and portfolio management software. So they're one tool that you could try out. But um, the questions that came up relate to specifically uh, how we manage uh, the kind of project information. And this person asked, we all know that when you handle multiple quad projects, it's difficult to keep track of all the URLs and instances in one place. Is there any template or tool you're using uh, for keeping track of everything? Uh, so I'm going to go first and answer this one and say, hey, when I've done this before, uh, Confluence, I think, is a great tool to use uh, for that. Uh, it's a wiki and enables anyone to edit and update uh, project information that could be about URLs like where's staging, uh, where's production, um, where's the development environment, what the logins for all those things. And I think uh, Confluence or a wiki of some kind uh, is is great for that. So if you're looking for a tool, just search for uh, wiki options and Confluence is a great one to use. Uh, but Kelly, have you used any great tools for keeping track of all these different logins for different instances and URLs? Yeah, I've also used Confluence and I think that's the perfect tool for it. And I have also used uh, the Google Suite. So Google Sheets or Google Docs, if you don't have any security issues with your clients, I always ch double check with the client to make sure that they're okay with uh, certain information living on uh, a Google, a shared Google instance. But that's another great way to have full visibility to, uh, you know, have an archive of what's going on. Um, and then there are some other tools if you're just looking to keep uh, URL links and passwords. Um, KeyPass is a tool that I've used in my past. And yeah, but I think Confluence or Google is your best bet. Yeah. So there's some other tools that you might want to think about as well. I know Think about kind of collaboration tools. So something like Dropbox Paper um, could be good as well. But if you go to the digitalprojectmanager.com forward slash tools um, and, so, and you'll find a post that we've got on collaboration tools. Um, so a, either a wiki or some kind of collaboration tool could be a really good option for you there. Um, and along the same lines, someone else asked, Any, anybody know of good tools to collect and manage lessons learned. So I'm guessing they're curious about how they elicit that feedback from the project team and then how you keep a record of that and then how you make sure that you review that uh, before you start the next project. Kelly, any thoughts on that? Mm -hmm. Well, I think a first uh, good aid or reference to have leading up to a lessons learned is having client surveys go out. Mm -hmm. So whether you do that at the end of each of your phases or at the end of a project, I would recommend the former so that you're getting their feedback at the end of each phase for how it's going and then feed into your lessons learned. You can do that through Google polls um, and just, or survey monkey, do something like that. And then you'll have something to go off of. And then I just use a simple Google doc as a template for going into each of my lessons learned and making sure that I am touching on what I want to touch on, which you know, includes every phase, feedback, uh, every milestone, how they went looking, you know, and, and we have tools on lessons learned and retrospectives and how you can do that. But I think a simple shared space, again, like Google Docs is great. Yeah, no, good advice. And I think, yeah, again, the confluence is something that we could use for this again. Um, I think the important thing uh, yeah, is, is making sure that we're getting that feedback from the client, getting the feedback from the team and, uh, really digesting it into, you know, you'll get lots of information, but it's like, okay, what are the three big takeaways from this? And if you can condense it into something more digestible, and then maybe you print it out and put it on the wall of your office. So everyone remembers, Hey, these are the really important things that we need to make sure we do. Uh, but visual control uh, can be really useful when we're trying to think about how we stop making the same mistakes time and time again. Um, 
Now, we've got one more question on tools, which is an interesting one. And someone said, anyone know a tool to help create profiles of team members at our agency? Clients would like to see resumes of the team, so I wonder how to keep it up to date and easy to generate and send out to clients. Now, in my agency previously, we just had a massive folder uh, of everyone's resumes, and we made sure they all matched up. And we could send those out to clients. I've heard there's this thing called LinkedIn, which is um, which is a useful tool, uh, and so you can send your uh, clients a list of people's LinkedIn. But um, Kelly, have you ever had clients request, you know, who's the developer working on my team, and why won't they say anything? <laughs> Yeah, uh, what we typically do is in a kickoff meeting in a PowerPoint, we'll have a slide that shows everybody. And then what we do is we just export that slide as a PDF for, so they have all of the information after the kickoff meeting. And so in there, when they get the PDF, it's, it's in digital form. And so they can actually click on either the email addresses because we have everyone's name, email address, not phone number, uh, and LinkedIn link so that they can just link to to see any background or context that they need. But they can also email directly. Um, I would be you know aware of whether or not you want to include email addresses for your developers or for certain uh, resources, teammates that you don't want your clients reaching out to and bothering. But I think that otherwise, just a simple one sheet of those names and then linking to LinkedIn is great. Yeah. Awesome. So that's all the time we've got for on our discussion on tools right now. But if you want to join the discussion on tools, head to our Slack channel, go to the digitalprojectmanager.com and you'll see there a link to join our Slack team. And you can share with us all your wisdom um, on everything tools. But until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>